Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com, and today we're going to talk about complex shapes, like this one right here. This is just a silhouette, but if you were to try and draw it, it might be tricky. A beginner's inclination might be to, you know, look at that outer contour and kind of, you know, trace it around and then, you know, eventually kind of get the shape in place, maybe with some mistakes, and then you would start to fill it in. So this is kind of a drawing mentality when really what we have is a paintbrush. So to my mind, the best way to tackle a shape like this is to break it up. We are going to use temp layers to do this. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that means make a new layer. I'll be doing so with the keyboard shortcut. And then to paint the biggest shape. So I'm just going to start with the center part. Okay, that can be big and loose. Just paint in the center. All right, now I will make a new layer, and I'm just going to paint uh, the handle. Now, the really nice thing is that these are separate layers, which means I can go to the Move tool and move it a little bit. I can switch to the Eraser tool, and I'll do this a lot, and I'll carve away what I don't need, some sort of shaping that larger stroke. And then maybe if I want to add pigment, I'll switch back to the Brush tool, the Keyboard Shortcut, you can see here the importance of keyword shortcuts. And I'm going to, once again, with the free transform, that's control T, just kind of get it in place. Okay. Now I'm going to make another new layer and do this kind of top part here. Now clearly it's not looking right. Well, that's because I knew I was going to carve away with these big active marks. I do almost as much subtraction as I do adding. My process has a lot of eraser in it, not just the brush tool. And I also shift things around quite a bit. As long as you have access to keyboard shortcuts, it's really quite easy to lay things down, push them around until it's looking the way you want it to. So I'll just continue in this exact same way, brush, eraser shift it around, new layer, paint what I want to paint, erase away what I don't quite like. And now I've actually gotten the center bit kind of wrong. Well, if you notice here on the left side, I have all of these as individual layers still. So I can go back to that center one and I can kind of carve it and shape it as I go. And I don't have to worry about messing up any of those other parts. Obviously, this is different from a traditional drawing approach. And it poses some questions. On one hand, you might ask, well, is this giving me bad habits? Is it kind of spoiling me with the ability to infinitely um, correct mistakes and kind of push things around? Does it make me worse at uh, drafting because of it? And maybe it does. I think this is not a replacement for learning to draw with pencil and paper. Another critique might be that you'll look here and I have a huge list of layers and that's only just for this one little object. The way I tackle that is I keep them layered as short as I can. So right now I'm pretty happy with how this is all looking. So I'm actually just going to select all those new layers I've made and then do control E, which is merge down. And now they're a single layer. So for me, they are what I call temp layers as in they are useful temporarily and then I don't keep them for the rest of the painting. But I find that working like this is a great way to stay fluid. I can make a big mark, erase stuff away, and I just don't worry about disrupting the rest. And I think what that leads to is a very active painting. It kind of has a sense of energy to it, which is evident even in the finished work. Now, if this is a subject that you find interesting, I actually have a premium series all about this. It's called Dynamic Brushwork, and I think it's pretty fun. But anyway, um, memorize these keyboard shortcuts, try out using temp layers, and you might be able to tackle more complicated shapes than you thought you could. All right, have fun painting. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.